on the computer. Cool. Uh, Mackenzie Gaines here for you, everyone. Uh, as normal, normal protocol, raise your hand if you've got a question, and we will work around to you. Let's start with Jorge today. Hey, Mackenzie, how are you today? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, first, uh, first question to you is, um, there seems to be a lot of competition in the forward line this year, especially wingers. I mean, Vargas looked great in that first half that he played. You came on, you assisted. I just wanted kind of your thoughts on the competition this year and how are you looking to kind of set yourself apart? Yeah, I think that we have some really good forwards. Um, obviously, you spoke on uh, the role that Kerwin played. Um, but I think we also had a good competitive group last year as well. Um, and I think that I said last year in an interview that, you know, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. And that's kind of the mindset that I have going into it. Um, you know, I saw that Kerwin had an assist and that motivated me even more just to go in and, you know, try to play my role and to be as effective as possible. And, you know, I had an assist as well. So, you know, I think that we push each other and it's just going to be um, beneficial to the group as a whole. Nice. And then Charlotte just announced that um, they'll be allowing people into this game as well. Just how important it is that crowd? And from what you're seeing preseason, it seems like the fan base is really excited. Yeah, it's great. I think that it just adds another factor. And, um, you know, we want to build on where we were last year with playing at home. Uh, we had a really good home record. And um, I think that that's just a testament to how much we like playing in front of our fans here. So, you know, anytime that they can come out and support us. I mean, the more the merrier. We love having them out there and we love playing for them and fighting for them. Awesome. And then last question. I know it's Valentine's Day. I just wanted to ask you, what do you love most about being a soccer player? Um, I think that my favorite part is just how rewarding a profession it is. Um, it's something that I've put, you know, my life into and it's really rewarding to wake up every day and to, get paid essentially just to kick a ball around. Awesome. Thanks, Mackenzie. Thanks, man. Cool. Thanks, Jorge. Let's go to John now. Am I up? Yep, you're up, John. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, Mackenzie, just having a full season with Christian as coach, just talk about what he brings to the team and, and what it's like now to be able to have the system implemented over a full season and how far you think he can uh, take you? Yeah, Christian's great. Um, I mean, even as an assistant coach last year, he was definitely somebody who impacted my game massively. Um, and the system that he has in place, he preaches two main principles. He preaches, you know, first intensity and then um, quality in, in your position. So I think that um, with last season, he implemented a way of, you know, that he wanted to play and, this season we're building upon that and we're just trying to you know set ourselves apart from other teams just in the way that we play um and he likes to say you know if we do the same thing as everybody else that we're not going to get different results you know so we do want to bring a different way to the intensity that we play with and we're looking to bring that every single game um and you know i believe in the the ideas that he has and the concept of football that he wants to implement and i think that we can go as far as you know we want to go also, with some of the acquisitions you've made this uh, offseason, most notably bringing in an experienced guy like, like Ashley Westwood, among others, um, how excited are you to see these guys on the field, integrated into the team? You guys were so close to the playoffs last year. Just, Do you think that the acquisitions that you made will be able to sort of get you guys over the line and into the playoffs? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think that, like you said, we were, we were right there last season and we missed it by a few points. Um, I think that the acquisitions, you know, Ash and Enzo are going to be huge for us. I think that they bring, you know, big bits of experience in, in some pretty key areas. Um, but I also think that, you know, with us being able to build on what we did last year and not having to, you know, learn an entirely new game model and uh, get to know 20 odd new players, um, that we're going to be at a much better position this season than we were last season. Um, I think that we had kind of a slow start coming out the gates last season, and I don't expect that to be the case this season. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. Thanks, John. Uh, Willie P. McKenzie, hope you're doing well. Uh, I know that Christian took a very personalized approach to kind of everybody uh, over the course of his time as an assistant, and I'm sure that's continued as a head coach. Uh, 
what was the process like in identifying some of the key things for you to work on and how was that offseason process like for you? Yeah, um, I think that that's one of the reasons why everybody was so, you know, excited for him to step in, step up and take that head coaching role is because we had all had such good personal relationships with him as an assistant. Um, and, you know, for me personally, there's, you know, a list of things that I can work on. But, um, I mean, mainly it was all about, you know, um, you know, the first touch aspect of everything, um, the decision making in the final third. And um, it's all stuff that he's drilled into me and, you know, also other players. And I think that it's helped me, you know, immensely on the field. What is the key to, to kind of putting the final product together? Is it just reps or repeated activity? What, what do you what do you think is is the secret to that? Yeah, certainly repetition. I think that, you know, it's not a secret that the more times that you do something, the better that you're going to get. So it's always just exposing yourself, uh, you know, to situations that you're going to find in the game. And um, the more times that you do that, I think the better that you, you're going to get at them. Thanks, man. Good luck this year. Appreciate you. All right, cool. Let's go to Caleb. Hey, Mackenzie, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Good, good. I just want to ask you, um, you guys just missed out on playoffs last season. What are kind of some things that the Dodgers either told you that you feel you guys need to kind of take to the next level this season in order to make that next jump forward? Uh, I think mainly it's just, you know, building upon what we did last season. Um, I think that we had a really good end of the year. Um, and if we can just build on some of the ideals that we have, that we'll be in a much, much better place this season. You know, I think that last season – we were kind of chasing it towards the end of it. And um, I think that with the style of play that we have and the way that we've been able to build on what we did last season, that that's not going to be the case. I think that, you know, we'll definitely be in the mix for um, the majority, if not the entire, you know, season and we won't be, you know, on the outside looking in come the end of the season. And what I, I want to talk to you a little more about um, Westwood and Copetti. How have they been adjusting as well? Like how has their personality sort of, been integrated into y'all's and how they kind of mesh with the group yeah they've been fantastic I think that you know it's been as good as it, it, it can get from from that side of it I think that both Ash and Enzo have come in and um, people have just taken to them they're real genuine guys and you know they mesh with the team in terms of how we want to play too you know they um, they're here to work um, they're definitely not here to you know to just, you know, kick the ball around, but they want to be here. And um, that, that reflects the way that they play with us. You know, we want to be an aggressive pressing team. And I think they fit us like a glove, you know, Enzo is going to round, going to run around. Ash is going to run around. And uh, I think that they make everybody better around them. And lastly, I just want to close out on how excited are you for that opening match? Once again, back at Bank of America stadium for the season. Yeah. Pump. I think we're all pumps. Uh, nothing like playing at the bank. Right. 30,000 fans behind you. I think that we're all really, really excited just to get started. Right. Thank you so much, man. Good luck with the rest of the season. Appreciate you. All right. That looks like that's about it. So we'll wrap it up there. I appreciate everyone coming on today. And we'll have these assets out for you soon. Thanks. Thanks, Mackenzie. Thanks, guys.